what's up ladies it's Linda by Carolyn Deisha coming to you from my YouTube channel and today I'm coming to you guys with a review on this hair right here and as you already know this is a wig that I made and the hair that I used to make this wig is first by Zuri and it comes in this pack right here now what this is it is a whoo almost dropped it it's a one pack is enough um system and it comes with a 20 inch bundle an 18 inch bundle a 16 inch bundle and a premium silk based hand tied big lace closure and the style is straight and the color that i got it in is um i want to say sombre but i I don't know if that's how you say it. So it's S O M B R E. So I guess sombre blonde. And that is this beautiful, uh, damn near platinum blonde um, color. And the hair is 100% green fiber. And this one says right here. Oh, and on the front. And what that means is that it is non toxic. Bromine free flame retardant fiber. It is safe for fuel. It is green fiber up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can curl it. And yeah. On the back it says 100% green fiber. High quality. Soft lace for sensitive skin. Natural look. Halogen free. Non toxic. Thin weft and natural volume texture. And it just shows how to curl it and whatnot. And yeah, I picked this up from Elevate Styles, and I think it's priced for $16.99. My friend, it's priced for $16.99, so $17. And yeah, I actually had my eye on this hair for a while. I've seen um, a couple of reviews on this hair floating around by T, and I. Well, first, I've never, like, really seen anyone do it in a color like this. I've only done it in, like, a 1B or maybe a 99J. And, of course, you guys know I love my blonde, so I had to, I had to get it in this color. And, um, yeah, like I said, it is a one-pack solution, and there is definitely, definitely more than enough hair. This is how much hair I have left from the 16-inch bundle. And y'all know I have a big ass head, so, you know, I find a little sense of relief that there's definitely more than enough hair. But having hair left over definitely low-key gives me anxiety because, you know, it's just like knowing deep inside that there's space on this wig that I could squeeze this hair into. And, um, yeah, this hair is, this hair is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to start with the cons first. Um, this one, um, it's, it's not really, like, that much a con, it's just, uh, the thin weft. I understand that, you know, I guess it helps for the tracks to lay flatter and whatnot, but, uh, I don't know, I don't really care for a thin weft like this. I prefer them a little thicker, but that is just my opinion. The second con for me would have to be the closure I don't know I have a little mixed feelings on it you can't really tell on camera but it claims that you know it's hand tied in I guess it kind of is but only in the part area but the rest of the closure's actual tracks and the part there is two tracks right here and just like very, very fine hair sewn into the track and, I mean, into the part and I really had to do some major plucking to try to, you know, get the part to be visible, which I still kind of had to work on it. And also, we keep sliding back, also with the, um, closure, the silk part of it is actually, like, too dark for my skin tone. Y'all see I'm the high, high bright yellow and, um... The silk is actually more like a brownish color. But other than that, um, this hair is, uh, this hair is amazing. It is so soft. It is so soft. Like, oh, whoa, that's not cute. Why don't y'all tell me that my wig is turning back over here? That's what I get for being lazy and not some combs in my wig before I did this video. Um, but yeah, this hair is so soft. It, my fingers are gliding through it like butter and um, I'm not really getting any shedding 
there's one strand right there. The only reason why it will shed in my case is because I did cut the weft's two glued onto this don't cap. It is 20 inches and I am 5'8 and it goes past the chesticles. And also another thing that I noticed when I was making the wig, um, the hair is kind of staticky. I don't know if you could tell when I do that. <laughs> Starts getting a little staticky, and that's just a little weird. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this hair. Um, I really love it besides the closure, uh, the actual closure and the thin wefts. This hair is gorgeous, and I definitely, definitely am getting this hair again in this color. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I'll leave the link to where you can find this, and if, we can fi if I can find some other links, I'll leave that in the description bar. Um, of course, like this video, comment, and of course, subscribe. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Until my next video, I will talk to all of you guys soon. Mwah! Bye!